there, and welcome to This Week in Week Entertainment. I'm your host, Franklin Nash. Now our top story. The L.A. County Sheriff has recommended a felony vandalism prosecution for Justin Bieber in the now-famous egg-throwing incident. While Toronto Mayor Rob Ford has recommended Bieber try some crack, but only once during a drunken stupor. In more Bieber news, according to sources close to the star, Justin's ex Selena Gomez is blaming Bieber for her recent rehab stint. Selena blames a lot of her addictions on the excesses she was exposed to by Bieber. She also blames her incredibly poor taste in music on the torturous sounds of Justin Bieber music she was being forced to endure through the course of their relationship. In other news, just hours after apologizing to his two-and-a-half men replacement Ashton Kutcher for belittling him on Twitter over the years, Charlie Sheen finally got around to watching Kutcher's segment on Jimmy Kimmel Live, where Kutcher told Sheen to shut the F up. Sheen then took to Twitter again to threaten Kutcher for the Kimmel appearance and said that if Kutcher ever said that again, Sheen would, quote, put him on a hospital diet for a year. Kutcher says he doesn't feel threatened, though, because a hospital diet would still taste better than the crap Charlie's been feeding all of us for the last three years. In Keeping Up news, are you keeping up? Scott Disick has filed a lawsuit against a Mercedes-Benz dealer after he claims he was taken for a ride by the dealer after purchasing a Benz he claims breaks down all the time and is, quote, virtually useless. When asked how useless the car was, Scott replied, why it's almost as useless as a Kardashian. In other news, after banking $100,000 DJing at a club in Atlantic City this week, Paris Hilton made $50,000 at a blackjack table. This is great news for the U.S. because it clearly means unemployment is dropping and the economy is once again on the rise. Finally, Flea of the Red Hot Chili Peppers admitted to pretending and not really playing at the Super Bowl on Sunday. Fans of the Red Hot Chili Peppers expressed their support for Flea, however, saying that it's okay that he wasn't really playing on Sunday, because after all, neither were the Broncos. This has been This Week in Week Entertainment. I've been your host, Franklin Nash, and may tomorrow find you well. And today, find tomorrow. In more Bieber news, according to sources close to the star, Justin's ex, Salima Salimanu. Is that a real person? No, it's not.